looks like I'm having to make a, a rebuttal to my own video. Oh my god, this guy. I gave him the benefit of the doubt and said to him, you know, you need to back off, you need to reassess your life because clearly you've got everything wrong in your own head. And in the last three or four days, he's made me look like a fool. Um, he's he first did something of master manipulation, and then the second thing he did is not only ma master manipulation, it's downright insulting. So I'll deal with the first issue first, which is the one that's just happened, which is his reaction to the Manchester bombing. Now, I live not far from Manchester. As a fact, I will check my... It is 70 miles. It's closer to my mum's than it is to me, but... Um, and I have friends that live in Manchester. I have a friend that I used to work with and then um, somebody that I know who is was the stepdaughter of one of my friends. Now, having people in Manchester and having people in London, as we had with our last bombing, things like this hit hard and they hit hard for a reason. Now, I've just because I don't watch on Etion, a lot of the stuff that I get about and from on Etion, I, I do do sort of get through tinted glasses. Um, I usually get it from either Blur or the Worskis. Now, I've just watched the Worskis video about his reaction and how he's whining um, about um, people's outpouring of grief and such when... Um, I'm looking at my phone for a reason, don't worry. Um, how outpouring of grief when nobody grieves for people with cancer. I'll get onto the subject of cancer in a minute. Now, I screen capped a tweet. Um, do you, um, that Blur replied to. Do you mention people who die of heart attacks, cancer, not unless they're famous? No a bombing or a shooting. That'll get retweets. Go, go, go. And then Blush just put, how do you always manage to be the biggest in the room on easy on? Um, I won't say the word she said because it's not a word I like saying. Um, but he's he's trying to say that, yeah, people have died in the bombing in Manchester, but people are dying every day. Yes, people are dying every day, but this was a surprise attack in an arena with kids. And kids have been killed in it. Um, there are people in hospital, um, including an infant that had a nail go through her. Now, as somebody who lives in Britain and lives not far from where this happened, I find that insulting. And I found it in, bad, in really bad taste. Um, I am trying my best not to cry or square right at this moment, but I am so pissed off. There you are, I've just brought one. That I'm shaking. Um, the only time I've ever been this bad is with the whole Daddy of Fire issue. Now, the other issue is he did a video of saying thank you and goodbye when he was just starting a second channel. And, oh, which I found out about through my connector. And it's. He is the master manipulator of you, him and. Trisha have just done a video on are the two biggest manipulators on this platform and to me on Eseon I did give him the benefit of the doubt because I am the type of person that wants to give people the benefit of the doubt where he he does act out a lot and I think there are reasons behind that but this is just it's enraged me it has maddened me so much that if I saw the guy I would probably swing for him. Now I can't stand the guy. I never have been able to and I never will be able to. In my mind I have a distinct distinct dislike for people who use tragedies such as Manchester and London to benefit their own cause and to make a point and 
Uh, I know Phil covered this in one of the other guys that was done right nasty. I think I've even got a screen cap of that. I'll just double check. No, not that one. No, no. Oh, I haven't. I thought I did. So, but I don't. Um, but I'll leave his video above as well as the voice keys. But in the incident in Manchester is not something that's commonplace for us. We don't get a lot of mass shootings or mass murders. Yes, we get murders. Yes, we get deaths on a regular basis. Now, he's saying why do people who have who die of cancer not get recognition? Blah blah blah. In this country, we have a lot of charities. I'm reaching behind me for a reason. You'll understand it in a second. This is something that they sell to make, to make money for cancer research. I have a lot of items that make money for cancer research. I have a lot of bracelets, a lot of pendants, a lot of... Um, my mum gets me stuff, um, the breast cancer pins every year without fail. And we have regular events to raise money for cancer. And for him to say people with cancer don't get recognition, they do. Um, granted, we don't say, well, that today this many people, granted, we don't do that. But that's because usually with cancer, there is a warning period where people are aware that they're going to die. With something like this, they go to watch a concert of their favourite pop star, and then they end up, no. As somebody who lives close to where this happened, and somebody who has friends in that area, and somebody that lives in the same country, I find it insulting. And I find it downright manipulative. He he enrages me to, to no end. And the fact that he's using this to forward his own goals is... Sickening. It is sickening because, and not in the good sense, it is horrible for somebody to use such such a tragic event to forward their own manipulative behaviour makes me want to say sit on it and swivel and I let him choose whatever he wants to sit on and swivel him and several other people are the worst people on YouTube and this stuff that he says and then he wonders why he gets demonetized and he says that PewDiePie is the worst on YouTube no he isn't not by a long shot and What I want to say to the people that have been hurt in Manchester, that have been, have lost family members, that the entire country is with you. Um, I'm with you. And any, should this video make any money whatsoever, it will be getting donated to the appropriate charity, as will my mental health videos if they make any money and as will the EDS mini videos that I did last week for the EDS awareness. Now I'm still going to keep the only some the only see on videos up. I'm just going to put a comment in saying that um, some of the views I'd now no longer agree with because I've I don't like the guy. I I give him I gave him a chance to reassess his life and he's clearly just decided oh screw everybody and he's gone back to manipulating people and to me it's horrific he has no sympathy for other people he makes everything about him even a bombing that's not even in his country it involves nobody to do with him and the fact that he's using this to to propagate his own goal 
is enraging and he's doing it because he knows people like me and other people are going to make videos about it which is all well and good but why does he have to be so goddamn manipulative and just feel feel bad for the families that have lost people feel bad for the families that have got people in hospital people that have in this country things like this don't happen as often as they do in other countries and for something like this to happen is horrific and enraging in so many ways and it's upsetting it's upsetting in every possible way now like I said any money made from this video will go to the appropriate charities I don't want to keep the money for this but I am going to monetize it so I can donate um, but on easy on should you ever see this video you have insulted an entire country and if anybody in this country watches you and enjoys your videos after this then they need their head to the into you and several others have made everything about you and it's enraging and it's upsetting now with that being said I'm going to finish this video and upload it and make it live tonight because I am that pissed off So with that being said, try and stay safe wherever you are. Make sure everybody knows where you are. If you are anywhere near an area that has had an attack like this. And if you're in Manchester, please stay safe. Please, please, please stay safe. I will check in with you shortly. Have fun. And I'll see you soon.